Over the years of watching MLP, we've seen some wondrous effects on the world of Equestria through magic. Ponies have shaped their environment not just for their benefit, but for the benefit of many other species across the land. Truly, from all we've seen thus far, the citizens of Equestria are living fairly comfortably and even progressing towards a brighter future. But I've often wondered about some of the unintended side effects of a world so dependent on magic. And I could probably focus several videos on how some of the ponies' actions can have some rather dire consequences on their surroundings in ways they haven't yet realized. But today, I'd like to talk about the effects of magic on the individual, and how it might explain certain character shifts in the show. First off, let's take a closer look at the human world Twilight Sparkle in the Friendship Games film. Just like her equestrian equivalent, she has a naturally curious mind who wants to understand most everything about the world around her. But unlike her pony counterpart, she knew nothing about the existence of magic before her introduction, and thus hadn't had any prior experience with it. Throughout the movie, we see her determination to research these strange phenomena both from her curiosity and a principal who threatens to block her entry to a prestigious college. It's a fair setup to unleash the magic, as it were, but then we are shown a very different Twilight after the transformation. Suddenly, her motivations, her personality, and really most everything we've learned about her up to this point has taken a radical shift. In a matter of seconds, she's become very much like some of the other major villains in MLP. Which then made me wonder, why? Was it all just to create tension for the climax between Twilight and Sunset? Just for the sake of the story? Or could there be something else going on here? Could the magic she had absorbed actually be causing this radical shift in her motivations? Well, one might think that the magic from the elements of Harmony can really only be used for good, but then we only have to look back at the first Equestria Girls film to know that that isn't quite the case. The element of magic had been wielded by Sunset Shimmer to give her a more demonic form and enslave the minds of those around her. So that got me to thinking, what if all Equestrian magic could have this potential side effect, depending on how you use it? Or, in the case of human Twilight Sparkle, corrupt her from within simply because she lacked the knowledge and wisdom needed to properly handle said magic. In fact, the very appearance of Twilight Sparkle after her transformation, especially the horn, seemed very similar to another villain in MLP, Queen Chrysalis. Now, we know next to nothing about Chrysalis's backstory, at least from what's been presented in the show thus far. Imagine for a moment that Chrysalis fell into magic much the same way that human Twilight did. With this in mind, imagine what might have happened with Twilight had Spike not brought her back to her senses, and Sunset reaching out to her in friendship. One might actually see all of Equestrian magic in a different light with these thoughts in mind. The fact that Sunset sought after power in another realm in the first place could have been caused by being exposed to more magic than she could properly handle while under Celestia's tutelage. A radical shift in her personality and motivations. And let's not forget the moment when Celestia was more angry with Twilight than at any other point in the entire series. When Twilight was using her magic in ways she could not control going beyond her knowledge, wisdom, and experience. Perhaps it was more than just disappointment in her student. Perhaps there was a very real danger that Twilight could have had a radical shift in her personality and motivations, to the point of becoming a villain herself. And just imagine if something similar had happened to the other villains in the series. Sombra, T-Rex, even Discord. Perhaps magic itself without the proper knowledge and wisdom to go with it, has these negative consequences attached to it. Perhaps you could compare it with, say, the Force. If you choose the quick and easy path, you will become an agent of evil. There is probably a lot more we could get out of this subject, and perhaps I may find reason to do more videos like this in the future. But even just for now, I'm rather intrigued by the possible consequences that could be associated with using equestrian magic. As much as ponies have used it to shape their world in wondrous ways, 
perhaps there could be some negative consequences attached to it. What do you think? I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.